Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Italy, episode number 26. And this episode, if if all goes according to plan at least, will all be about the Fortuna. Into the fray, brave Fortuna, into the fray. Um, we're sending her to Northern Europe to attempt a blockade. She's also raiding, so I guess, wait, she can't do both at the same time. Should we roll the dice that she can blockade or should we raid? Actually, it's pretty dangerous to send her to raid somewhere else. I'm going to go with blockade. And we are missing some ships, that's okay, we'll send one more. Let's send our good destroyer, not our elite one, <clears throat> out. So let's do that. The Wittelsbach. Um, well, I'd rather be fighting that, I have to say. Great, it stopped being moved, but okay, so we do need to do raid and at the same time move to the Mediterranean or Northern Europe because I think that's going to be the best situation. We have to accept pretty much everything because we can't afford with any victory points. And we are... Oh. This is so stupid. <laughs> uh, I just don't even know what I'm going to do with this situation because it is a 1 verse 3. Try to fight them from a distance. If we can lure them away from the convoys, I mean, hey, even better. Just fire that one rear gun. What kind of speed are we looking at? 29. So we actually, if we're really smart about this, we can drag them away and then also not get caught ourselves. Like, we will eventually drag them away. Will they catch up to our transport ships? I, I mean, I guess it depends on how long we can lure them away for. The answer appears to be a long time. <clears throat> yeah, they're barely at range. I'm going to actually hold fire indefinitely so we don't waste any, <clears throat> excuse me, any of our precious ammunition. We still have plenty of ammunition left, too, which is good. Don't waste it. Just... Lure them in, let them take a few shots. And you know what? Now's the time to just run away. We are running. Now we'll just run away. Yeah. And we will eventually hit these islands and we can use that as a, a point to disengage from them. Looks like that's what's going to happen. So, um, kind of a funny turn of events that this will end up being a win for us because they are not going to end up sinking any convoy ships. But, oh yeah, perfect. Just in time. Let's go ahead and re-engage because there's no reason not to. just in time. Perfect. All right, very, very good. Down to cruise. We'll start making our way back to a port, and there it is. So a minor victory for us, we'll take the points. More importantly, it's just one, well, it's about even in terms of victory points. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna put you on rating. Cross our fingers here. Cross my heart, hope to die. Put a broadside in their eye. I don't know. You can probably figure out a much better accompanying verse. For me, for the time being at least, I'm mainly just focused on getting this Fortuna into Northern Europe. So raiding into Northern Europe. Let's see if it works. I think it did. What? Ah. Okay. What does it look like here? France has five points, and we have, well, we have ten, but are we blockading them? <laughs> well, this is funny. So, why did they get 220 points, and we only gained 210? Some of these things are always a little bit mysterious to me. I don't understand why it should be exactly the same number of points. It is exactly the same effect, I believe. 
And we don't have any submarines at all because basically our budget is so... has been so terrible. However, I think it's now probably time for us to... We need to do something, right? We're building up a massive amount of funds. And buying a whole bunch of destroyers is not going to... At the end of the day, it's not gonna it's not gonna do everything for us. Now this Vascado, I, I kind of believe that we should design a second ship just like it. I'm I'm kind of feeling this right now. Design a second Vascado. Maybe we get the ten percent change. Um, call this something else. Let's suggest another name. Let's go to. So it should give us the developed from class. Why is it not doing that? But do we have all the Vascados out? We do. So the last one was... Yeah, we, we want to open this design for rebuild, actually. But it's not... It's slope deck. It's not um, all or nothing, which we might as well be doing since we are effectively all or nothing already. So how do I get this ship? And I want to build a new ship based on this design. So let's design ship, open Vascado, and then can I suggest a new name? Go up a little bit. Why is it... It should... Mm hmm um, central firing. Interesting. Well, it don't know why it's saying that. Let's put a single turret there. Now is it saying that? Okay. This is a Mars solid, but it's not developed from the class. I know I want to develop something from this class. Open design. There it is, finally. Okay, I don't know what I had to do, but we've changed it slightly now. So let's see how much change we can do here. 10% change, uh, 5,400. We want to go all or nothing. Ah, it, is, it just doesn't let us do it unless we keep the same. Okay, so you know what? We're just going to have to do a com completely new light armor. I mean, light cruiser configuration. Ugh. Now, um, a, a couple points, by the way, because people have brought up some interesting issues. Um, there's talk about why, I, you know, how my destroyers in the last um, episode, we had a few destroyer conflicts. And they didn't go my way in particular. So it kind of seems to support evidence that a gunboat DD would be useful. Now, I don't want to say that a gunboat DD would not be useful. It would be. But what I, how I look at the situation is we don't have... Um, essentially what follows here is going to be an explanation for why I'm not going to build a gunboat DD, especially as Italy. I mean, for any other nation, I could at least consider it. But with the budget, we can't. And we, I know we have a lot of budget right now, but... Our number of actual ships is just pathetic. So probably, I mean, I, I'm really answering my own question. We really ought to get a Dreadnought. Except for we don't have guns, that's right. Ah, oh, man. Now, 13 inches isn't terrible, but I'd really like 14 inches before I consider something. <sighs> um, okay, so what I was saying about the Gunboat DDs is that we could have, if we had, let's just pretend everything went really well because our gunboat DDs were amazing and we completely mopped up both of those. But well, we already mopped up in the second battle. We didn't lose a ship. But in the first one, let's say instead of going 0 and 4, I mean um, 2 to 4, uh, 2 kills, 4 losses. What if we had gone, let's say, 4 and 0? We would killed 4 destroyers and lost 0. It wouldn't really have changed anything. Now, we have yet to been get in this situation, but this is where I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for a situation where these destroyers, with their torpedoes, can be used to possibly sink a Dreadnought. If we sink a Dreadnought, this changes, like, everything. This is, like, I'm, I'm just guessing I'm going to ballpark it. Probably over 10 times, a full order of magnitude more victory points. Probably, like, 30 to 40 to maybe even 50 more um, victory points for sinking a Dreadnought than sinking a several destroyers. We can even actually do the math. Let me just open... Ah, uh, I can't open it. The victory points. I, I mean, these are like 80,000 and destroyers are like 1,000. So it's like 80 times more. Something like this. So sinking the Dreadnought, the risk you take by getting these destroyers and, you know, having them capable of retreating their minds on them already is, is like kind of a jack-of-all-trades thing. We're a jack-of-all-trades. We can't build a pure gumbo DD. We have to rely on our light cruisers, light cruisers to do that. And... We saw that our light cruisers are perfectly capable of eliminating destroyers. We saw that in the second in the second battle. We just sent our... I mean, we even had three of our destroyers. They're not even terrible destroyers on their own. Three were able to hunt down one of the enemy destroyers and take it out. So, I, I feel very comfortable with our decision so far about the destroyers. And we're building a lot of them. This is not because 
I really want a lot of destroyers. I think I just basically want enough to escort my capital ships. I don't want them getting into destroyer actions. So this is way more than I want. But what I'm doing this as is a counter to us losing the strategic battle. And it's so close. Like, okay, now it's 129 to 74 because I pulled my um, battle cruiser out. And they probably have brought in more ships. I mean, that's insane because we've been winning a few battles. But they have nine dreadnoughts in here. Their entire surface fleet, basically, is in the Mediterranean hunting me. So to combat this, um, I'm trying to win this blockade war. And to do that, I need victory points. I mean, strategic points. And these destroyers are just the only thing that will actually impact the battle in time. Okay, so long-winded discussion. Let's see if my... Okay, another one of these. Absolutely fine. We'll take the offer. I will have to revisit the names off camera as well. Should fight until whatever. 1500. Okay, wow, wow, wow. We're losing a lot. Except why are we not able to create a force? We have a battle cruiser in the northern in northern Europe. Okay, they're no longer being blockaded, but we still are. They've moved back basically exactly enough to stop themselves from being blockaded. That's unfortunate. And I don't want this thing to move to, like, worse shape. I guess we'll keep her on raider mode one more time. Like, what I really wanted is to break the blockade to have a, an, a, an event. I'm going to move it back even. Because I want to have the event uh, that we're breaking the blockade. And then they, they target our ship. This is what I want. Um, by the way, is this ship back up to 26? Good. I made sure that this was 26 in the files. So I, I'd like to let you know that because um, if you notice that, it's back up to 26. Just know I had to make sure to go in and edit it back to 26. But um, yeah, but I already explained the reason why I was down below already. So again, we just, we're at the point where I really need to start using this money. And, okay, so you guys are all going to Coastal Patrol now, so I can get some of my destroyers back. Okay, good. So we have 20 out of 18, that's not enough, so let's go ahead and build a few more. I mean, it's something, it's like temporary stopgap. Okay, I'm doing it. Do we have the... You know, we don't have medium subs yet. I cannot believe in 1919 we don't have medium... Normally you have mind-sweeping subs right now. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Poor education is just absolutely hammering us. Okay, I have to accept a fleet battle. I don't understand why we're getting this weird warning. Now, we've sighted the unknown ship here. This is actually a good start. I like that it's our battle cruiser currently at risk. Ah, crap. It's the Etna. We have no battle cruiser. I guess it's because it's on raiding mode. That's This is very bad. At least they have the destroyers, but... Squad Max, I think we're just... Ah, fudge. If they end up having eight dreadnoughts, we have three strategic dreadnoughts, and they have... I would definitely call theirs not just strategic. Let's take a look at what they have. Okay, so if they bring these 20,000 ton ones to fight, we can handle those. 613 guns, 1012 guns. This is something doable, even though we're only going to bring... Most of ours are going to be 4x2, but they're only firing 8x... I mean, uh, most of ours are 4x12. Four, four guns at 12 inches, meaning it's our battleships, not our dreadnoughts. And our dreadnoughts are just 6. And they're firing 613 or 8 per broadside. Because uh, this is the wing turret configuration, I'm sure. Yeah, so. It's not impossible to win that fight. Especially because they have high speed, which means their armor should be a little bit less. Let's see, can I... I wish it would let me scroll. Okay, there we go. Didn't need this that far. It looks like this is fine. Um, it's not showing me their armor here, but I guess I can get something about their armor. Oh, 11 inches. So they have very, they're very well defended. And I don't think we are... Eight and a half, my goodness. We could let the Africanus lead. She has 11 and a half inch armor. This is the reason why I like to put a heavy armor on my original battleships, because it does make them relevant. But, I mean, we needed the Fortuna to be in this fight to make it 
a fight that we could win. That was, I think, instantly the, the difference. If this is actually a battle cruiser, it's not. But they have battle cruisers. No, 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 they actually don't. They actually don't have a battle cruiser. I think in this area. But our light, our armored cruiser is actually slower than their dreadnought, so we're just going to go right back to port. And you know what? We're going to get this group to switch their support roll to. We can't. I I darn it. I was guessing that might be the case. All right. Well, let's see what happens if we just swing away. If they want to fight us on our terms, I'm okay fighting among the, the mines over here and all that. Okay, so let's... I will keep my two Corchi Reali Prospero ships. Yeah, we'll enter... Well, let's say no, not right now. Let's see what happens if we just kind of cruise around for a while. The vision is very bad. Are you kidding me? Nembo. So there's a submarine here somewhere. I don't know where. Just move the Etna away. I'm just gonna go into port. I, I mean, I, I don't want to. I kind of want to like wait and see what happens. Um, let's just get these guys to go to AI control. Let's get you to go to AI control as well. So we're just going to kind of swing around the port for a little bit here. You go down to cruise. Also making your way this way. I think it's not necessary for us to do anything. The French fleet will probably go to port as well, but just in case they don't, I don't mind kind of patrolling out here for a while. really dark now so probably even less likely that some <laughs> engagement will happen I'll stay away from the submarine ah, we're just not having amazing luck should we go now now that we've kind of fished okay they did nothing um, okay, well, whatever. They failed for not sinking any ships. They had eight dreadnought. They did have a battle cruiser. We made the right decision. It's really unfortunate because, ah, oh, they didn't actually lose any points for, um, failing their mission. Hmm. Okay, I still want to raid. If we can get a battle cruiser versus battle cruiser duel, that's going to change everything. That's all we need is that one engagement. Please, please, okay, you know what, we're, we're kind of desperate at this point, we need the better naval guns, like, at, I'm considering even lowering fire control, which is almost, which is something I almost never do. And we have the innate, we that improved triple turrets, I'm going to drop down turrets and gun mountings to low. You know, I, I just, we need it so many, in so many other places. Yeah, okay, that's the one change I think I'll make. And we'll just try to putz on by with this battle cruiser. Okay, fleet battle. I think we just see if the battle cruiser is again in again. They're having some issues, aren't they? And now I'm pretty sure that if she's raiding, she's not gonna be pulled in. I'm I'm starting to realize this. Now, um Boy, I would love to take Corsica from the French, too. If there's, like, one goal I would have is to take that from them. But uh, we don't have our battle cruiser here, so our best ship is not... We, I think we just retreat right to Olbia. Wait to see an unknown ship. There it is. That is really close. What's our vision range? Good gracious. Terrible, which is actually kind of good for us getting out of a tough situation. So, we'll get these guys to go to, uh, not AI control, squad max. You will go off AI control as well, support, line ahead, flee, squad max. Actually, I guess we could take a shot at this ship. Um, if it's a, an armored cruiser, we might be able to sink it in time, but I'm not going to rely on anybody else to get the job done. 
anybody who's not a destroyer, anybody who's not capable of making 27 knots or more is going to retreat. But we do have a lot of destroyers. I mean, that's the good news about getting destroyers, right? That we're going to have this situation. Now, the Viscato is actually capable of 20. Okay, she's a candidate for staying. Support. Line ahead, and we'll get you just to go cruise for now. We'll, we'll kind of mosey on in. Because the Prospera and the Courtier Reality, they are potentially going to engage and then disengage. But you, if we can, I'll be interested in keeping you around. You'll be at least as fast as the um, French battle cruiser. Now, I guess I can keep these dreadnoughts. Let's, uh, I, I don't need to put them up that fast yet. Let's just go at 18. So I guess these guys are going to have to disengage, but we'll wait a small amount of time for the outing to come. Let's see, what are we doing with here? Oh my god, there's this, so they definitely have their battle cruiser and they're already firing at us, so we are going to retreat full speed. Just get out of there. Their battle cruiser is already there. And in fact, it's probably not even worth risking the Viscato. So let's get you to squad max weight. We're just going to disengage. We're just going to disengage. If we land any hits at all, it'll be a miracle. Our destroyers here will make sure that we can escape without any problems. Although, oof. Actually, we just exchanged fire with them. Okay, so there's unknown ships. How, by the way, how the hell? Oh, our vision just got better. Okay, because our vision was here a moment ago, but now it's it's better. Okay, so circle. It's a six-inch guns, I think. Okay, no, it's mostly not six-inch guns. Hmm. I mean, that's a ship I would love to sink, too. It's really not that good. But with a battle cruiser firing at us, we're yeah, well, our decision's made. We'll have to withdraw. And uh, speaking of withdrawing, let's get our main fleet to do an about face. I I gotta say, I mean, this is not impressive to me either. If you're wondering, like, am I excited about having to run away all the time? Not really. Yeah, I just think it would be so imprudent to face three to one odds. Um, doesn't seem at all like a good idea. The Duquesne. 27 knots, so yeah. And she's really not that good. Oh gosh, uh, I just have this this dream situation that we can actually sink her. Yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not impossible. Not impossible. We're going to lure her up here, but possibly consider engaging with our dreadnoughts and stuff. We're just going to let her slowly catch up to us by moving north. She'll have the wind advantage, that's fine. Just get the Edna out of there. And then eventually, we are going to um, s s uh, pivot back down towards them. In fact, we are going to have to do this sooner than I, I hoped. And what's more, I think that we're only going to bring our dreadnoughts. Our, oh god. Okay, so let's... Africanus, and the Regulus is obviously the Regulus, and a Regulus... Africanus. So they mixed and matched our Africanus ships, which is a real pain in the butt because both of these formations now have a slower div uh, rate of fire. I mean, um, transport. Movement speed. That's the word. 1918. 1918. Now, if they just put the two classes <laughs> in their respective divisions, you wouldn't have this issue. I don't know why they would ever do this. And this is why. Oh, please. Rule the waves too. Please have an order of battle editor. Allow us to choose, at least uh, give us a strong ability to choose uh, which ships would fight with which ships. Okay, so I think this destroyer group actually has to keep going this way to try to cover the escape. We'll get these guys to deploy smoke. That should help a little bit. We'll get you to come down. We'll have you do 18 on your way down and then speed up after, you know, we have to start getting out of the way. And you know what, I'm just going to take control of all these ships. You know, this is going to be a, a longer turn. Sit down, grab a bag of popcorn and a cold beverage. We're going to go. We're going we're gonna to go. Uh, we're going to try to do this. We're going to try to sink this one battle cruiser. I think she'll turn away the moment she sees that... Uh, and we've actually done some light damage to this one already. I think she's going to turn around as soon as she sees the rest of the fleet bearing down on her. 
So smoke, and then you will also lay smoke. No, not down, up. Okay. We're sighting unknown ships. These are just maybe a light cruiser, probably just destroyers. Okay, okay, we need formation here though. And we want, she's gonna be fast, so we're gonna come down with uh, a, basically kind of a three-pronged attack. And you can't really escape Edna, I mean, but we're still gonna have you, let's have you spin east. Just, uh, hmm. Can we set up a trap? Probably not. They have good scouting. Okay, and let go ahead and head south now. What will the Duquesne do when she sees this though? This is my very my huge curiosity is how will the how will this commander how were how will our opposing number react? She's firing her heavy guns at the destroyers. This is obviously ideal. Very low chance of a destroyer with smoke being being targeted, being actually hit. Okay, so here we go. Closing lines, we're closing in. Whichever way she goes, we will have the ability to, to hit. Now, I don't think we'll be able to sink her in time. She has reasonable armor. She's a big ship. I kind of got you guys too committed, so you're independent anyway. Line abreast, AI controlled. We're going in. We're launching torpedoes. And let's turn together. Okay, your torpedo launching should begin right about now. And at the same time, our dreadnoughts are in there. So we don't actually need to do this. Um, the Duquesne is pivoting. Let's pivot with her, which means you also come this way. Prospero, you guys go ahead and turn off. You head, whoops, shit. This, like that. Squad max. And you guys also squad max. Let's see what happens here. This is interesting. Okay, so the Regulus is the first to land a hit. I didn't realize, I didn't check my time, should have done this. It's nighttime. Damn it, anyhow. Well, the only, like, potentially good news with that is that we could sneak in a torpedo hit. But the Duquesne is turning around. Damn. We've actually landed a few good hits to start as well. Now, Prospero, you don't have to lay smoke anymore. You're just going to contribute too much to the smoky area. And we need you guys actually to turn around and go squad max back down south. What's her speed? 20 knots. Okay, let's just give pursuit as long as we can. Uh, what's your... Uh, 225. Let's just get you back to 225. I don't want to change headings on you. Um, and risk losing your potential accuracy. All right, we will give the command to launch torpedoes. Maybe that is what these guys were missing, waiting for. We don't need those destroyers to lay smoke anymore. I probably won't ever play again other than in captain's mode just because I, can't, I just can't deal with this uh, silly AI doing really silly things. Okay, now we know if we wait too long, we're gonna encounter the main fleet, so. I say night fighting with destroyers is not as terrible as it could be. We're going to close up though. We want our destroyers in front and we're going to go for it. We're still going to go for it. Okay, we're still going to go for it. They've lost a little bit of speed. Go down to cruise. You guys are going to lose. Well, don't go down to cruise yet, I guess. Stay at squad max until the vision is terrible. And then we'll lead with our destroyers. We'll lead with our destroyers, and if they encounter the enemy... Okay, another nice hit. Just getting a few in there. So if we happen to encounter them, then hopefully it is our destroyers and their torpedoes, which win the day for us. And this battle cruiser is actually coming back in, which is insane. We still want to close up, though. 
You guys are squad max, and you guys are squad max. And you guys are squad max as well. Okay, that's fine. This is insane. Okay, this is insane. We have to try to pin them now. I mean, they've committed, so we're going to commit. She's taken a few hits. We know she's taken a few hits. Here come our destroyers. Okay, Vescato, you're just screening. Don't get too close. They are now very perfect situation for us is that our screens are blocking theirs. Ha <laughs> ha! I know these are not gunboat DDs, but uh, they're still destroyers in the path of the oncoming, what is obviously an oncoming torpedo raid. And we're still hitting the Duquesne. Okay, this is actually, what the hell is this? What the mother hell? You idiot. I'm pretty sure I forgot to name things off camera and I'll put a big sticky note on my monitor to do that after the end of this episode, but holy cow, whoever Tyre Mina is, if I haven't renamed the one already, it's gonna, I'm gonna look for the worst name I possibly can. That is the worst destroyer, I mean, torpedo I've ever seen. I, I don't, I have no idea who is even aimed at. Now, this disengage, if we even just sink a few destroyers, could be useful. Forgot to give the Etna the notice. <laughs> Great, so now we're gonna launch torpedoes at the wrong ships. Okay, hold torpedo fire. Hold to, you know what, let's just go to, do not launch, do not launch, do not launch, do not launch. Okay, so we're still hitting the Duquesne, this is really important. The Our light cruisers are able to basically keep tabs on their destroyers, our destroyers are keeping tabs on their destroyers. Got to make sure we aren't hit by our own torpedo. Holy shit, we're going to get hit by our own torpedo. Oof, that's close. Um, the Adna Eve is, is even contributing from a, a great distance away. Okay, pursue the Duquesne. And we know that this is the main battle fleet. We're going to find it any second now. But who's going to find it first? Our destroyers. And it should be right about the time that our, uh, uh, that the nighttime comes. Yeah, this is good. I'm okay with this. But this is less okay that we have, <laughs> our battleships are charging a little bit too far ahead, but we didn't pin the east side, so that's where obviously they're going now, is to the east. We don't have an escort to the west, so I'd like to move our battleships back east. Okay, we have, we're almost to the Duquesne. A heroic launch from you, Alpino, could mean a lot. Just give her everything you got here. Heroic launch is now. We're gonna get everyone to go to line abreast, turn together. Line abreast, turn together. Line abreast, turn together. We won't give the torpedo... Uh, that's what they're waiting for, actually, I think, is the torpedo order itself. Fair enough. Okay, Prospero, you guys cut in like this. Cut really hard this way. Here's the night time. There's their fleet. Okay, we have all the information we need. So here we go. All right, it's gonna be a mess. I'm not sure how many of our ships will survive, but here we go. Pulling back, charging forward, pulling back, defensive, pulling back, defensive, charging. Charging. Any second now, we should have, there to, There they are, there they are, okay. Launch, los, 
Torpedoes away! Get people to go to AI control, <laughs> maybe this will help. We'll just try to do this in slow-mo with uh, AI control activated so that... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. Or maybe this was genius. I'll leave it up to you to decide if this was intentional or not. Los. We hit the Duquesne. We hit the Duquesne. We've one hit already. And this is what they were meant for. This is absolutely what they were meant for. Okay, pull a lot. Let's pull off, but try to, um, you know, pull together at the same time. And Scotto, you're on the inside. Okay, here we go. All right, destroyers, do your worst. Okay. There's lots of torpedoes flying in every direction. Another destroyer has been hit. We are losing destroyers left and right, but they are cheap. The dreadnoughts are not. This is what it was all about from the very beginning. We've hit um, an armored cruiser now, and we really need our ships to pull in so we can uh, sweep up the pieces that remain. And I'm talking mostly about the Duquesne here. Okay, another launch. We're coming out. I mean, I don't even know who's alive at this point. Lots of destroyers are sinking. Oh, you got it. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, it went right through the middle. How do you, how do you, how was that not a hit? Oh, come on. Come on. I mean, I mean. I've seen a lot pass them from the front and the back and stuff like this, but that one hurts. Okay, fair enough. Let's just keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I control, but I'll control you myself. I think we've lost almost all of these. Most of our destroyer fleet, but what did I say? What did I say about this? It's completely okay if we ended up sinking even one of these big ships. So now it's time for us to push that advantage. In fact, these guys have not even gone in their squad max. Now it's time to do that. And we want both of these ships to make sure that these are all sinking. Okay, now what's amazing is, oh, please, that might miss, but um, how many torpedoes do you have left? Still three more. Very good. Steady as she goes. And in fact, we want to push her west if we can, because that'll push her back into our fleet. And look at all the torpedoes just flying. Holy cow, just... Tons of torpedoes flying. Where is this one? Unidentified ship. Could be an armored cruiser. Could be a, a light cruiser. I don't think it's a battle cruiser. I think they only have one battle cruiser. So that, maybe it's a dreadnought, but probably an armored cruiser. Um, the carnage. This is this is what we've been waiting for. And I see we're we're 38 minutes into this video. This might be a a two-parter. Okay, we did push her. So this has to now swing back this way. Oh god, okay, so it's it's happening, it's happening. They are being pushed too, a little too far, actually. Um, further than I wanted. But with any luck, okay, we need you to push south, squad max, you are, you are. Basically, I don't want the Duquesne to be sighting this ship and then pulling further, I want them to go north. I want to try to drive them north. No, they're definitely going south. Okay, fine. We'll just try to close in. Hopefully the damage we've done is something. You don't have any torpedoes left? No, not at all. So what I'm actually going to do is have this one. I'm going to take you off AI control. You, you've done your work. I'm just going to guide you right back home. You know? You've done your job. Go home. You have not done your job yet. Still time for you to be a hero. Let's start taking a look at these ships. The Marengo class, 1111. Yeah, this is solid. We've hit a few of these, though. I mean, maybe two. Let's just take a look. Is it going to show? It doesn't show up in blue here, which is, uh, you know, really unfortunate. Our dead ships. Oh, it does. Okay. One hit on an unknown. We hit a CA. We hit a Dreadnought. And then we hit the Duquesne as well. So four hits so far. That's really good. I mean, this could be four really good ships that we've hit. We got her. She's 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 spinning north. Oh my gosh, she's spinning north. We've done it. Okay. Now the only thing we have to do is make sure we don't get hit hit by torpedoes ourselves. But 
Etna, come on in. Come on in. Water's just fine right now. In fact, you guys close. Maybe you launch your torpedoes. We'll get lucky. Um, you pull away. Africanus pull up towards the Duquesne. Okay. Duquesne getting hit. They are launching torpedoes. Okay, just pull back away now. You've already done your job. I guess Africanus just pulls south, and you're pulling away. I don't want to engage the main fleet. Just let's sink the ones we've already got. And you... Actually, I want you to maybe engage this Marengo. Oh yeah, this is this is wonderful. And we need to pull back, because as soon as we sink the Duquesne, and with the, with the other damage we've already done, I don't think it sinks any ships, but... Actually, at the same time, okay, let's see. Where are their destroyers? If we can isolate their destroyers, which we... I, I mean, I guess the Quartier Reality, we actually do need you to pivot up to block their destroyer advance. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to call... Um, uh, put a cut in the video here. <laughs> Still... This is the long and short of it, is that this is going to be, have to be a two-parter. So, an exciting fleet battle, one that where we might actually be able to pull back to parity with the French fleet. I doubt it, but at least we can start working our way towards that. So until the next episode, sorry for the cliffhanger, and take care.